Hello, my name is Julian, and I'm a co-creator of Shep, along with Oleg, Jillian, Erica, and Avery. Shep is an investment opportunity that represents the latest innovation in portable consumer inventory management. I'd like you to imagine a 33-year-old businessman by the name of Jesse. Now, three years ago, Jesse's team had a brilliant technology, and they managed to secure capital to fund their venture. But the last two years have been slow, and sales have been few, which is why today is particularly important. Today, Jesse is going to be flying to New York to meet the city to compete for a $12 million contract. Now, there are other teams, other companies, but she knows that her technology is superior. She decides to book a business class because she doesn't want to deal with the hassles of the economy. And let's face it, after today's meeting, She's never going to have to fly the economy again. She sprints to the WestJet counter, cracks open her suitcase, pulls out her ticket, and her passport. And her passport. The color drains from her face as the weight of the world crushes her from the inside out. The passport is at home. Jessie's a professional. She doesn't have time to worry about missing items critical to her success. She needs an effortless way to bring everything together. She needs peace of mind. She needs Shepard. Shepard is a revolutionary system that helps to dissolve any anxiety associated with leaving your items at home. It will remove any worry to do with forgetting your items abroad. But Shepard isn't limited to the business Jessies. It reaches out to the hockey Jessies, the ballerina Jessies. It reaches out to the backpacking across Europe Jessies. And while, as you can see, the possibilities are limitless, unfortunately our checkbooks are not, so we'd like to show you the technology that we believe is worth your investment. So Oleg is handing out the tabs that our system uses to communicate with your values. And now, much like Jesse, Oleg wants to go travel. So he was smart enough to go to his local travel bag retailer and purchase a Shepherd enabled bag. Now, this means that the unit is directly integrated into the bag at the manufacturer. So Oleg has his four values here, and he has purchased four pre programmed tags. He simply sticks them onto his valuables, like this. Take a matter of seconds. Collects <laughs> 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 them, and he simply puts them into the bag. Puts them into the bag. <laughs> and holds down the memorized button five seconds. Now this programs the system to remember all those values until we reprogram them. So now let's take them out. Let's say Oleg wants to go to the Bahamas. He's been working hard. Okay? So Oleg wants to see what's in his bag. He presses the scan button and it tells him that he's missing all the items in his bag. <laughs> Too bad, right? Not too bad, because he knows which one he's missing. So let's partially fill it up. Throw some items in. Now the system communicates with all the valuables via RFID or radio frequency identification technology to see which one of your valuables are there and which ones are missing. Future iterations of this technology are going to see the size of the unit shrink down, eliminate the LCD screen, and you're going to have direct connectivity with your phones via Bluetooth. So let's do one more scan of like. Now it's showing you the password is missing. Let's toss that in. Oleg is good to go. Now Jesse's son will never forget his left skate at the arena. Her husband is going to bring that snorkel every time they go to the Bahamas. And Jesse will never forget her passport again. Can I tell you a little bit about our business model? We'll be manufacturing Shepard in China and then shipping the unit to the bank ship it to the retailer. Now, our 
strategy is to start at the top, selling to prominent bag manufacturers in order to capitalize on their established distribution channels. Now, we've already contacted several bag manufacturers, so we have a better understanding of the industry, and we know where we're going. We're starting with company A. And for confidentiality reasons, I can't disclose the name of company A, but I can tell you that they're an international bag manufacturer that account for nearly 10% they produce bags ranging everywhere from luggage bags to backpacks and from hockey bags to even lunch boxes. And we're working very closely with the executive vice president of Company A in order to get Shepard into their high-end luggage bags. And we're very excited to have the opportunity to meet and work with some of their clients in the coming months. While the luggage industry hasn't seen any major innovations since the wheeled luggage bag came out in the 1970s, we do face some indirect competition in the there are products like Tile, Locator, and Sticker Find that operate using Bluetooth or GPS technology in order to locate items. Now, Shepard functions a little bit differently. It helps the user keep tabs on life and determine what exactly it is that's missing from their bag. Our tabs are smaller, lighter, and they don't require any kind of power source. Not to mention the fact that Shepard is one tenth the price. Having already established a relationship with Company A, we will be incorporated immediately in order to hire a developer. Now, throughout the process of development, we'll be working closely with our developer in order to file our provisional patent application as well as register our industrial design. By February, we will have our final prototype complete and we'll be ready to begin the process of industry standard testing and certification. Now, by April, we'll be meeting with Company A as well as some of their clients in order to showcase our final as well as begin our contract negotiations. And when everything goes well by June, we'll be producing Shepard. Now the projected sales you see behind me, the numbers were based on numbers we received from company A. And we determined a selling price of $10.50 per unit in the first two years, and then $10 in the following years. The sales projections the first two years are based on the assumption that we'll be selling exclusively to company A, and that Shepard will only be going into their high-end luggage. Now, in year three, we expect to expand to sell to other bag manufacturers in North America, as well as expanding internationally with Company A. And by years four and five, we expect to see continuous growth, both domestically as well as internationally with Company A, with a view to expanding into different markets. Now, the projected five-year cash flow that you can see behind me is the cumulative cash flow, which is the line in green, and then the net cash flow, which is the white line. As you can see, we expect to see a deficiency of about $30,000 in our first year, but we expect to recover from that by the end of our second year. And by our fifth year, we'll see a cumulative cash flow of $1.3 million. This is our team, Goja Tech. And we have Jillian, Junian, and Oleg who are responsible for technical development as well as manufacturing. And Avery and I focus primarily on finance and marketing. Now, Oleg will not be continuing on with us at full capacity as he has this summer, due to some prior commitments in September, but our entire team is committed to this project and we're very excited to see it go forward in the coming months. Now we're, we have skills ranging everywhere from design to finance, to sales to consulting, we're more efficient, more effective, and most importantly of all, we know that we can put up with each other for long periods of time in confined spaces. <laughs> Change. 